Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, in 2012, the American Association for the Study of Liver Diseases, the American College of Gastroenterology, and the American Gastroenterological Association, they updated their practice guidelines for the treatment of a condition called fatty liver disease. Now, with the rise in overweight problems and obesity and type 2 diabetes in our society, there's been a corresponding rise in the incidence of fatty liver disease. So fatty liver disease is known medically as steatohepatitis, which involves inflammation and fat accumulation in the liver. And it's often seen in alcoholics, but a form of the condition is also seen in non-alcoholic patients and labeled non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, N-A-S-H. And it's commonly seen in individuals with diabetes, obesity, and metabolic syndrome, which is sort of a pre-diabetic state. And both forms of the condition can progress to cirrhosis, which is an irreversible liver disease that is life-threatening. Now, according to the 2012 guidelines, patients with NASH are encouraged to reduce excess body fat and avoid alcohol. Now, one of the surprising recommendations includes providing these patients with 800 IUs a day of vitamin E. Studies have shown that vitamin E reverses liver cell damage in patients that have NASH. They stated that vitamin E should therefore be considered as a first-line pharmacotherapy for patients with fatty liver problems. Now, this is a crucial finding as very few agents have been shown to actually reverse liver damage in cases of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. As such, vitamin E is one of the interventions that's likely to prevent the progression of fatty liver problems to full-blown life-threatening cirrhosis. Now, of interest, is the fact, of interest is the fact that another recent finding show that vitamin E supplementation is also associated with reduced risk of liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, a very serious cancer, in high-risk individuals. So if your doctor sees high triglyceride levels in your blood accompanied by high blood sugar and elevated liver enzymes suggesting a fatty liver problem, you should discuss the value of ingesting 800 IUs a day of vitamin E to help prevent further liver damage, along with implementing other important dietary and lifestyle modifications. In fact, if you have fatty liver problems, you may wish to review the Total Medical Management Guidelines published in the journal Hepatology in 2012 that you can access at the link that I've included below the text. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.